big idea I want to share with you today is this one. Being good at maths does not mean being fast with numbers. This myth is almost as bad as the myth of the math brain in the number of students it puts off in mathematics and makes them feel they're not, they're not good at maths. And at u -Cubed, we're working hard to dispel the myth that maths is about speed. And one way we're doing that is we're sharing the stories of mathematicians who we might think of as the you know, best in maths or highest math thinkers in some ways, and many of them share that they're just not fast with numbers. They're very slow, actually, and very deep thinkers. And one of those, his name is Lawrence Schwartz. He won the Fields Medal for Mathematics, which is the highest honor you can win. He's a French mathematician, and when he won the Fields Medal, he wrote an autobiography about his days as a child and how he felt stupid because, as he said, he was very slow. And this is from his autobiography. He says this, I was always deeply uncertain about my own intellectual capacity. I thought I was unintelligent. And it's true that I was and still am rather slow. I need time to seize things because I always need to understand them fully. Towards the end of 11th grade, I secretly thought of myself as stupid and I worried about this for a long time. I'm still just as slow. At the end of 11th grade, I took the measure of the situation and came to the conclusion that rapidity doesn't have a precise relation to intelligence. What is important is to deeply understand things and their relations to each other. This is where intelligence lies. The fact of being quick or slow isn't relevant. So we know that speed isn't important in maths. We know that it puts off a lot of people. So what do we do to little children in classrooms? 50 questions to take in three minutes from first grade. This, these are the beginning of maths anxiety for millions of students, and we have to get them out of classrooms. You do not need to blindly memorize maths facts. What we need students to have is number sense so they can flexibly interact with numbers, and through that they develop good memory of numbers. But these um, have to go, and this is why. This is the recent brain evidence that tells us that when you feel anxious or stressed, the working memory section of the brain it becomes blocked. So um, what we do to little kids when they feel stressed, when they see these time tests, is their working memory is impeded and they cannot do well. They can't access things, they physically can't. And I don't know if you've ever experienced this, I think many of us have, maybe when you have to do maths publicly, Maybe you're in a restaurant and your friends say, you work out the tip, you're the teacher, and you're looking at this calculation and thinking, oh, my mind's gone blank. That is the impact of stress hitting the working memory. And so it's very important that we take speed out of maths, we dis dissociate maths from speed. Many people ask me when I'm sharing these ideas, but what about practice? We need students to practice. We should give them worksheets like this, but no, actually. Um, practice is important. It's what turns that delicate brain pathway into a deep, permanent brain pathway. But this is not good practice. Uh, what is good practice is to see an idea in different ways, different forms and representations. Not the uh, repetition of one idea in the same way over and over again. And so we work with teachers to move from doing repetitious worksheets and we give them, we call this diamond paper, um, where the question goes in the middle and students are asked, can you write a story about it? Can you draw a picture? Um, can you do it in numbers? And that changes everything. Now students are connecting between areas of their brain. They're more engaged. They love to draw a picture. They love to write a story about it. And it's causing those fantastic brain connections. <laughs>